How you doing, Miss Horsey? You know what I'm saying? New look. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I'm talking about my blog post today. Uh, I'm really talking about the Harry Tubman sex tape and really going to elaborate on it for you. Um, I chose three different types of songs to speak on these topics, uh, so I hope you enjoy my blog. Um, my first song I picked on top of was, was Life Jennings, Sex, S-E-X. Um, the topic I choose, well, this, one of the topics is sex, basically. So I chose this song because it speaks on the imagery of the young sex life, and I really chose this song more to set a picture of how uh, the mind of a young teenager and basically how um, we get caught up in relationships but we also can feel like just because we're in a relationship we owe that person to have sex with them and we're young we're foolish we really don't know a lot so we feel like you know to make a relationship complete you gotta have sex with this person and um, also just to kind of tie this like feelings you know like a lot of people probably when they were young they thought they was in love like their first love was they loved that they, that was gonna be their last love for the rest of their life and um you know it, it's never been that case you know it never really ends that way um kind of speaking more about how like we really think more of our body not really with our mind we kind of speak really more with our heart as over everything um but you know that kind of leads to like young mistakes like pregnancy abuse can start early and can really hurt somebody's, you know, saying ruin somebody's life. Um, the next topic I really talked about was the violence. So the violence, I chose the song "Love the Way You Lie" by uh, Rihanna and Eminem. And then the song, if you watch the music video, the beginning of the music, video, the beginning of the music video starts as a couple in a relationship, but they're like fighting, and they're they're not like a regular fighting. <coughs> they're actually really going back and forth, and it's it's some type of pleasure out of that because as they're fighting, they just start having sex. Like they just go ham on each other, you know what I'm saying? And I quoted one of uh, Eminem's uh, lyrics and it says, I can't believe, but I still fight while I can can fight. And he's, he and another part is he's, he's, he's saying how much he loves the girl, so that's why he's gonna keep fighting. Even though like they continue to go through a lot of bullshit, he's gonna continue fighting because he's feeling for it. But the way I really chose this song is because the whole imagery of the violence. Like, if you if you didn't know the song, you you'll think that like how it started off, it would be a, a rape scene. But then again, you just continue to watch it, you'll see like it's both couples, like it's both people uh, doing the fighting. Like the guy will fight, and then the girl will fight, and then they'll just continue to beat each other's ass, and they'll get a pleasure out of that. Um, I really tried to tie this in the best way because it was I really just wanted a fighting scene in the relationship, and I thought that this could pull it out and have some type of example behind it. Um, the last scene, I used it as an imagery. I tried to paint this imagery of more of like to today culture, to past culture. Um, I chose the song Keep Your Head Up by Tupac. And... Why I chose this song because in this song, you know, a lot of times you hear Tupac rap about the life, things that he didn't been through, drugs, street life, you know, saying how he really got put onto the rap game. But in this song, he talks about black women. Period. Ain't nothing else but about based about black women and how we disgrace our black women. And then I quoted him. And then I quoted two quotes from him from his lyrics. And it says, When he tells you that he ain't well, when, when he tells you that you ain't nothing, don't believe him. That's the first quote. And then the second one is, if he can't if he can't learn to love you, you should leave him. Second quote. And then um, I, I kind of like really thought about it and used it as like how it's foolish, like with relationships, it's like foolish, like, a lot of females go through hard times, like they could be uh, so swear they in love, but something will keep them to the dude, like keep them there, even if they're like being beat up or abused or mentally abused, physically abused, something, something will keep them there. And then the last one, I quoted one more thing, and I, he said, I wonder why we take from our women, why we rape our women, do we hate our women? And then he talks more about like why we do all these bad things to our women. 
But like I said, women women are the, the face of this world. Women will assume they rule this world. Everything we need comes from a woman. We wouldn't be here without a woman. It takes a man to, you know, to, to you know, saying, conceive with a woman, but it takes a woman in nine months to make us, you know what I'm saying? So he's really speaking on, like, why are we doing all this to our women? Why are we going through this? Why are we causing so much hurt to the females, you know what I'm saying, that do so much for us that without them, we wouldn't be here? Um, front page, like I saw my titles, I'm on the back. I'm going to talk about um, the Harriet Tubman uh, article in the video. Um, I kind of, one reason why I try to pick all these videos because it kind of ties something more about of not like using your words and stuff, but more of your body, like how your body plays a major role. It's kind of why I kind of hit all these videos like that because, and, and the three songs really, you can hit on two songs, but they really talk more about, it, it shows like how their body is the power and how. They use this, that, and the third to get back or get what they need. And in the Harriet Tubman video, in the article, like we watched the video in class, she she used her body, she used what she knew her master would want to get back and use it against them. Um, just like in slavery days when, you know, the white man, when the white man would rape, the rape the, um, the, the black slaves, you know, it's just something about black pussy that, that, that was just, it was like a drug, you know what I'm saying? It was like a needle in the in the fix. Um, really, I wrote down to the, uh, the video was a message that was took. Oh, the video itself had a, a strong message that I took from it. And that was that she was trying to use sex for her own power. Um, she was trying to use her body, control his mind to do what she wanted him to do. Basically switch roles to use it against us. And then, then um, as I pulled an article up on my iPad, um, I quoted something. Uh it says, then again, this is what porn culture would do to one's perspective. Something Simmons have uh uh basically it's something that the Arthur Simmons he had pulled out and he says he had perpetrated in his uh his decades long involvement with the uh sex and the rap and the, the music videos and the music culture. So I kind of see it as like, it's just more talking about the body and just the body, like the power of the body, just everything. Like the body plays a role that we don't see. And the body, it has, it, the body has more of a strong hold than the mind does. Like the body is the real, the real temptation here. Because I know speaking on myself, I could see a woman's body and fall in love. And no matter what her personality is, she could be a bitch, but just because her body is, is so attractive, I could continue to try to persuade myself towards her, if that makes sense. Um, that's kind of really what I took out of this blog post, try to give you the best I could. The longest blog I made so far, but I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.